It sounds a bit corny, but I feel like I have loved you my whole life. I've never been so sure about anything, and I've chased you from the moment I first met you. I'm so glad I stayed in touch for all of those years, being that creepy older dude contacting you on Facebook. <laughs> and although most people don't get to see it, I love that you're quirky and that you're just ever sl slightly offbeat. And the funny thing is that we're offbeat together. We have such amazing fun together, and I truly believe we make a great team. I'm so glad and very lucky that in your own words, you love most of me and can put up with the rest of the... <laughs> Today is a celebration, a celebration of love, of commitment, of friendship, of family, and of two people who are in it forever. Mel, I've probably loved you since we first met almost 10 years ago, but they say that good things come to those who wait, and you certainly are a good thing, in fact, more than just good. You're amazing. You're all that I've ever hoped for in a wife, and more. I'm so incredibly excited that the wait it's finally over. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for embracing my plant and holiday addiction. Thank you for being kind and patient with me. Thank you for accepting all of me, my over-the-top cleaning habits included. <laughs> my promise is always to pursue you and always to love you with a love that is rich and deep and passionate and true. My love will be patient and kind. It will always trust and always hope and always persevere. My love will always find a way to grow. And so I find myself getting married to a man who feels like he was always meant for me. I feel like together, we just fit. I love you, Mike, and I vow to love you for the rest of my life. <laughs> Mel, you're amazing to me. Thank you for being my wife. I love you now, and I will love you forever. With the blessing of everyone who is here present today, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Let me get out of the way, Michael. You may kiss your bride. <laughs>